I'm Julie and thank you for joining me today as I plan in my classic vertical happy planner for the week of June the 6th to the 12th. This week is the week of the International Planner Collab theme spread that I do over on Instagram and the month's theme is Over the Rainbow. I do have a rainbow spread on my list of 22 spreads to do in 2022 if you've seen that video but I always like to do something super creative for the collab spreads and I decided to go in a different direction and make it an over the rainbow spread based on the film The Wizard of Oz. I'm going to try something I've never done in my planner before so I don't know how it's going to turn out. It could be a total fail but I always like to give different things a try. Before we start let's just have a quick look back at last week. Last week was of course the Jubilee spread We've been having some lovely celebrations, really enjoyed watching the Jubilee concert with all the pop music and songs from the shows and of course seeing the Queen earlier on the balcony. And this spread was just perfect for that theme. So let's take the pages out and get ready for this week's spread. My original idea when I thought about doing a Wizard of Oz spread was to use the poppies because of that scene where she falls asleep to the poison poppies but would you believe in all the floral books I could hardly find any poppies so sticker makers out there please make some poppy stickers for us. I think poppies are beautiful and I do have some in my garden and I did think about taking photos of them and using them for this spread but I ended up going in a different direction when I found these sort of, I think they are poppies, but they were very similar to poppies. I think they are poppies in the Fancy Blooms book by Happy Planner. I was talking to my mum about The Wizard of Oz and she was telling me that her favourite part of the film that she saw obviously when she was a little girl was the moment when it changed from the black and white to the colour and that magical moment where Dorothy lands in Oz and opens the door and she sees all the colour of the land of Oz. And then that took me in a completely different direction from what I was originally planning. So what I'm intending to do is I'm thinking about this scene here with the yellow brick road and the Emerald City. And initially I was going to do like a path, yellow brick road and the poppies. But talking to my mum took me, as I say, in a different direction. And I decided that I would do something I don't often do, which is use the middle of the planner page. And I would create the scene of the yellow brick road going to the Emerald City, but I would do one side in black and white and then the other side in color. I photocopied the picture from the book in color and then in black and white. And then I've just cut the two pieces in half. I don't know how far up I'm going to go and whether I'm going to cover up the dates or not so let's just have a little look because obviously I need to leave room for the yellow brick road coming out here so I just want to see how it looks so I've just got some grey card pale grey card for the yellow brick road on the black and white side so that's probably going to go something like that and I just need to cut a matching piece out of some yellow. found this piece of scrapbook paper, it's just a piece of Bow Bunny summer themed paper. I thought the yellow was a good match for the colour and the vibrancy in the film and it's got a sort of square texture to it as well, so a little bit like a brick road. So I just need to make sure that I cut this out sort of the same. I'm just going to draw around it so that it will be the other half of the road. So when was the last time you saw The Wizard of Oz, if you've even seen it? I don't think I've seen it for quite a few years. One of my favourite parts was always the beginning, the tornado. I love all those sorts of disaster things. Any film with a tornado or earthquake or volcano, I'll be watching. 
whether I should have it a little bit higher up let's see because the yellow does seem to come from here so I think we'll try and match it up I don't suppose I'd enjoy those films quite as much if I actually lived in a place that had those weather extremes I was always worried about Toto obviously in the film love the dog and talking about villains as we have been with the Happy Planner Disney release, I think the witch in The Wizard of Oz is very scary. She's definitely a villain. Oh, there it is. And of course, I loved the music or the singing. I used to watch all the musicals, all the sort of Doris Day, Judy Garland musicals. Really love those. So uh, just need to cut those bits off now. So that's that part done. I thought I would add some of these black and white poppies that I found from the Fancy Blooms on the black and white side as it's the part where they go from the poison poppy field to the Emerald City. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do about the other side but we'll see what we can find. Before I do that this edge is quite uh, raised so I did wonder about just bringing in some thin washi just to sort of define it. Let's just see how that might look. This is Happy Planner washi. I think it will just cover up the edge, flatten it down a little bit. Yeah I think that finishes off a little bit better. I do like it that ideas just occur to you as you plan the whole creative process. I've no idea what this spread is going to look like when it's finished. Now I can add some of the poppies from Fancy Blooms. Do you know of any good poppy stickers anywhere? I don't have a great knowledge of flowers and as I was flipping through my books I was showing my mum and saying is that a poppy is that a poppy and she was saying no and her opinion was most of them seem to be roses oh that's ripped the page that would teach me for being too fussy about where the sticker goes it's a shame that these happy planner pages do seem to rip a lot easier than they used to never used to rip my planner going to bother me but I'll just try and cover it up with that sticker there so it's a shame I haven't got this page in paper stickers then I could color them in the only thing I did find was they have some washi strips with poppies the ones I showed at the beginning so I think I could color those in red and use those although I'll probably have to draw in some stalks and leaves and things which I'm not very good at but I think that's probably my best bet whoops I'm thinking if I have this photo of Dorothy and the other characters maybe in the bottom corner then I won't have to do too many so I might just get away with it. I've got a Whispers dual brush pen that's got the brush stroke on one and the thin end on the other so I'm just going to find any florals that are on paper that I can colour in that look vaguely like poppies. My mum was telling me lots of them did not have the right leaves to be poppies but I'm just going to pretend that they are poppies in my spread even if they're not. You can probably pop on in the comments and tell me that this flower is something completely different. So there's at least one. So it was at this point I realised that I hadn't turned my light on and rather than scrap the video 
I do hope you're able to see but it's on now and hopefully you'll be able to see the rest of the spread more clearly. I managed to find a few poppies in some of the boxes or poppy like flowers and I've used this washi strip here and I'm going to use this picture of Dorothy so it will more or less cover that anyway and I think I've got enough there of the contrast between the two. So I'll just overlap this here. Hope it's straight. I think it is. And just trim off the edge. I feel like I need to have some washi on this side. I've got the choice of using the black and white, but I didn't really want to have any black and white. I have got this green one that's got stripes that are very similar, so I think that's what I will do, use the, this. Just need to add boxes now, so I've got this from Fancy Blooms for the sidebar. I think I'll use this one that has got the poppies on it for Wednesday as I'm not going to be able to write any sort of checklist. So I think if I put it down here, then I'll be able to write my to-dos there for that day. Of course, the perfect quote would be, there's no place like home, but I don't think I remember that being a Happy Planner sticker anywhere. I'm trying to see if I can use these two. I don't like that going in a row like that. I don't want that, I don't know if I want that too near. So I layer that one and just have that one on its own, but it's still it's going in a line. Boxes remain my issue. This one could go this way, I suppose, and then it's still going in a line every way I put it. Let's just get these down and stop fussing about where they're going. So I'll put that one there and that one there. Just going to add some bullet points now using this little sticker book from the Work Plus Life range. They are super teeny tiny stickers. I'm doing well using sticker books that I haven't really used because I also haven't really used this floral fancy blooms book so I can tick another one off my list. I don't like this little end jutting out here so I thought I'd use a red box to cover it up to go that way. I think probably this way because that one's going that way. So that will just overlap and cover up that little corner. Obviously I'm using very colourful boxes on this side. Just drawing from the green, yellow and the red from the poppies. Do some overlapping. I'm saving these boxes for 
some checklists. Luckily, Out for Adventure has some of the square checklists, although the colours don't match greatly, but that will have to do. I'm just going to add a blue box. I know I haven't got much blue, but there's blue in the sky and blue on Dorothy's dress, so I think that will be okay. I have to add a rainbow, so I've got a rainbow from Stronger Together. Just thought I would add that maybe here. Trim it here, so it looks like it's peeping behind. There we go. I've spent over half an hour searching for a quote with home in. I imagine they're all in the home body books, which I don't have. So I'm going to have to admit defeat and use something else. Got this kindness is magic sticker that came from the Bloom sticker book, and obviously. Dorothy was very kind and the people who helped her were very kind so I suppose it fits in but I'm a little bit disappointed that I couldn't find the quote I wanted. If you know where there might be a quote that says there's no place like home or I was thinking home is where the heart is would be a good one then do put it in the comments. I did find have courage, could have used that I suppose, or I did think about putting that one over here with Dorothy and the lion, so I think I might have that one over this side. So I'll just wipe this line out. See if it's going to fit. go over a little bit. That should be okay. So I think we're done. Those of you who know me might be wondering if I'm going to come back and straighten up anything that's not straight and I do feel like these boxes are a little bit plain and might need something added but as always I show you the finished spread in the final shot so if I've made any changes you can spot them there. This has been a bit of an epic production, so I'm thinking for next week's spread, I really need to try to do something really quick and simple just to prove to you that I can do that. But I do really love this. I feel really happy that I had such a good idea about doing the black and white and colour. And it's perfect for the over the rainbow theme for our collab over on Instagram. If you're interested in taking part, it runs all the way through June. Just check me out at Plans in the Making and you'll find all the details. Thanks for sticking with me. Sorry about the mishap with the light. Hope you're having a good week. Take care, happy planning and see you soon.